Hey guys, Thomas Kanamoto here with First Gen Fishing, and I'm gonna introduce you to the jaw dropper. First thing you'll notice about the jaw dropper stands out is that lip on the bottom side of the mouth. It looks like a crankbait lip, but it's actually lead. And what that lip does is special. It actually creates water movement from both sides of that lip. So there's a few things you could do with this bait. And one of the very unique things is if you use that as a Ned head and you put any straight tail, straight tail worm on the back end, you're gonna create a bait on the bottom that can walk the dog. It's the first bait of its kind that actually walks the dog on the bottom. So much like a spook or anything like that, it has that same action. If you have in part that same rod twitch, it'll, it'll jump left to right, left to right. So if you put a little turd type bait like the one I have here in front of me on, that thing jumps from side to side and instead of just crawling along the bottom every once in a while, you want to get that impulse strike from those fish, you could give it a few rod twitches and that thing will dart from side to side and you could get those fish to bite. Another cool thing about the jaw dropper, it has that 90 degree line tie. So when you drop that bait down, it sits perfectly horizontal in the water column. So when you have suspended fish in the fall or winter time, you could drop that bait down to them and unlike a spoon, spoons work awesome, they work great, but this is a, just a new presentation, much more finesse, like the Damiki rig, but with this lip, when you twitch that bait uh, straight under the boat, it's going to do figure eights for you under the boat, almost like an ice jig, but now you could put on any soft plastic trailer you want that matches up with that bait, and that thing is dancing all over the place like a dying shad, and they absolutely destroy it. The jaw dropper also works great just as your standard swim bait head, because we have five awesome, realistic looking colors, 3D eyes, and it comes through the water column perfectly. It has that good little rock, and what's really neat, guys, is if, unlike any other swim bait head, when you're reeling that thing, just crawling along, you give it a couple twitches. Unlike a normal swim bait head that's just gonna dart forward, this thing's gonna jump a little bit from side to side, giving that fish that extra reaction impulse that they have, giving them that chance to lash out at it. So give that a try. It has three, there's three great ways to use the jaw dropper, and they're all awesome and very unique. So go pick some up at a store near you.